this video is especially for teachers that how to make the students happy learners in the classroom the first and most important part is to have positive emotions what do you mean by positive emotions when positive emotions open us up to a new possibility we are more able to learn and build up our skills they lead us to doing better on task and test people who have their plenty of positive emotions in their everyday life tends to be happier healthier learn better and get along well with others so it's very important for teachers to have a positive emotions if the teacher is happy in teaching then he creates a better healthy environment for the students as well and he get along with each and every child who are in the classroom without losing the temper positive emotions consist of joy gratitude serenity interest hope pride amusement inspiration or love altruism satisfaction and relief i will try to explain each and every point to you with examples and if you will see the entire video then you will be able to understand the entire reason of this video joy is a common term that is used to describe the spectrum of happiness from gentle comfort to ecstatic bliss joy is often short term appearing quickly and also fading fast overall happiness can be increased by finding more things to be joyful about the teacher should be happy to teach he should not be taking it like a burden and if he feels happy and enjoy the teaching in which every individual child will be a part of it and if the students they become a part of the learning then the teacher will become only a facilitator and with the coordination the lesson will become more and more easier gratitude gratitude is one of the strongest correlates with happiness simply by being grateful of what you have you are focusing on the positive as opposed to be unhappy about what you do not have means be thankful what you have like sometimes we say that we haven't got uh, uh a good powerpoint projector i haven't got a video to show them but be thankful for the things which you have in the classroom it can be a green board it can be a white board it can be charts whatever you have it in the classroom try to use it and try to be happy for it because if you are happy what you have the students will be also taking part in it and participate in your lesson Serenity is the calm of being content with what you have. Serenity is linked with higher spiritual states where the person feels at one with the universe and neither a victim nor a beneficiary of fate. It's a moment of calm and quiet in which you are able to cool yourself while teaching, not getting anger, not losing your temper, not going in such a way that the students are unable to follow like having a peace of mind that is very important for a teacher second one is interest we have interest in those things that will help us to meet needs and achieve our goals just taking an interest in what is going on around you and in the world at large gives space for the pleasure of discovery to appear so the teacher must take interest in the topic what he or she is teaching and if the teacher is very serious and very creative in the work the students will definitely will be a part of it it's not important only the smarter boy will should participate but each and every boy who is a part of the class should be a part of the learning hope is anticipatory happiness it is the pleasure of an assumed future where good things happen and you will experience joy or other positive emotions the teacher should not expect that at once the students will be a part of the learning sometime it may take some time sometime you need to have a personal talk with them sometime they need a personal counseling sometime you need to talk with the co-teachers sometime you need to talk with the parents so there is always an area of improvement but if the teacher is the one who haven't got any hope then definitely the child will not improve so we have to follow 
the slow learners who are in the class and try to talk with them and try to find the reason and to try to make them move in the journey which everyone is on focusing on pride pride can have both negative and positive sides a prideful person is arrogant and concerned with with their status over others they may feel happy but at the other expense of others means that a teacher should feel pride he should not be the one who just take a like a formality to come and teach and go but he should have a personal term with every individual child not doing the work for the sake of money you can say but for the sake of saving the future of the school of the city of the country to make them a better citizens one more important part is amusement a strong motivational force can be very powerful for for changing minds humor is an easy way of connecting with others and a shared sense of amusement is a helpful social bond the teacher should not be the one who should make them demotivate he should be the one who make them motivate guide them and a good sense of humor is very important the teacher should not react at once if the students are not behaving in a good manner he should be able to the solve the situation or maybe discuss the same issue later but not losing his temper at the present moment inspiration inspiration is what we feel when we see or hear great speech and we are inspired to do something as a result of this in this way inspiration in is use this particularly when using charismatic and transformational styles of leadership so the teacher should be the one who make the students inspire who make them happy who make them transform and he should not be the one who lose hope he should be the one who make the students follow his footsteps he should not be the one who leave them on their journey oh is the feeling you get when you see a wonderful sunset or landscape it is what you feel when you experience great art and marvel at the skill of the artist this can be achieved through appreciation of painting performance or some other creative expressions like being a teacher sometimes you experience that there are few students maybe one or two the one who don't do any work the one who are not serious in the classroom the one who are frequently absent but on the other hand the teacher is hopeful so that things might change but the teacher is not interested in the child then definitely the child will not be serious in the studies in this case you may use different techniques different skills to make the child attentive regular punctual to school and if he is regular and punctual to school a time will come that the child will improve and he will show definitely a good performance love is a huge and powerful emotion which we first experience as an infant from our parents or carriers it is also complex and there are several forms that may or may not seek reciprocation the purest form is unconditional love seeking to give but not to receive so the teacher is the one who give but not to receive we should not expect that if we teach with love he will get love he will get the same 100% answer in his lessons there will be difficulties there will be difficult moments there will be uh, non related questions to the topic also but the teacher should carry on love not to give up but to hope that the things might improve but to follow the children to know the child background is very important if the child is giving a hard time to the teacher to teach so in this way you must have a personal talk with the boy who is disturbing the class altruism altruism is the pleasure of helping other people it is related to love but it is not quite the same although it is can be seen as being based on the love of humanity helping people even strangers is a powerful method for gaining happiness it's not important that to whom we know 
we should help them but we have to go beyond the limits to show our love not to, to the love who love you only but love for the humanity everyone who is around by helping those students also those who are not a part of your teaching those who are in the school to tell something about positivity that the child is good and you are happy for that particular child give them respect give them love that is the more most important thing which the children expect from teachers satisfaction is the pleasure of meeting challenges and achieving goals the opposite of satisfaction is dissatisfaction and the betrayal impact of this is known by many companies who have not satisfied their customers so it's very important for us that we have to satisfy make our children feel happy because indirectly they are the customers for teachers because if they are not there we might not be getting salaries so the teachers job is to make the child satisfied to make them happy to make them an active learner in the classroom and just believe that if you grab their attention develop their interest they will never disturb you they will be happy the teacher must have excess knowledge than the students the teacher should try to teach the topic in such a way that that the child is willing to listen to each and every word what the teacher is saying relief when we feel threatened then we feel relief when the threat is avoided as we dodge the bullet we also feel relief when we are feeling uncomfortable about something from being ill to revising for exams and the uncomfortable period finishes we sometimes talk about a blessed relief which reflect the positive feeling as we can trust the comfort now with the recent discomfort so every teacher must feel blessed relief in which the teacher is happy in the way he or she teaches if the teacher is discomfort and the students are uncomfortable and they were also disturbing the teacher and the teacher was waiting for the time for the period to be over this should not be the correct practice it should be the one which teacher is happy and feel glad to be a part of the teaching and learning process i hope you like my video so do like it comment it and share it and subscribe it thank you very much